This is Chertsey. The ancient market town of Chertsey is about one and a half miles away from the River Thames. The river marks the boundary between Surrey and what was once Middlesex. Chertsey Bridge was designed by James Payne and was built between 1783 and 1785 and replaced a rickety old wooden bridge. This bridge was built at a cost of around £618,000. It was built with the correct number of arches, but it did not reach the shore. The counties of Surrey and Middlesex had to pay extra to link the bridge to the bank. There's a modern bridge down past the lock. The woman clinging to the bell is Chertsey legend Blanche Herriot. According to the story back in the War of the Roses in the year 1471, Blanche had a lover, Neville Audley, who had been away in the wars fighting for the Lancastrians. He returned to Chertsey with a price on his head. He's arrested and sentenced to die at curfew the next day. The story goes that Blanche ran to the bell tower and crouched down beneath the bell and clung to its clapper to stop it ringing. Neville was pardoned and he and Blanche were married shortly afterwards. The nave of St Peter's Church in Chertsey was rebuilt in the period 1806 to 1810. However, apart from some strengthening work, the tower and the chancel are more or less original. The church is said to have been founded by John de Rutherwick, abbot of Chertsey, 1306 to 1347. The curfew bell in the tower is still rung at 8pm from the 29th of September to the 25th of March. This is the bell that Blanche Herriot is said to have clung to. We'll never know, of course, although there is said to be blood on the curfew bell. It's worth a stop at Chertsey Museum. There's lots of history here. I'm heading now into Abbey Fields, a huge recreational area. And this is the site of Chertsey Abbey. Not a lot left now, but a few crumbling walls. Chertsey Abbey, dedicated to St Peter, was a Benedictine monastery which was founded in 666 AD. In late medieval times, the abbey became famous as the burial place of King Henry VI, whose body was later transferred to St George's Chapel in Windsor. The abbey was dissolved by the commissioners of King Henry VIII in 1537, but the community moved to Bisham in Berkshire. This is where Chertsey Cricket Club play. The club was established in 1737. The old town hall is situated on London Street. Designed by the architect George Briand, it was built in 1851. 
and stands on the site of the second Chertsey Market House. Next door is the Crown Hotel, a half-timbered 1898 hotel. Local Chertsey singer and musician Chesney Hawkes played here many times. When I was a kid, I lived in Chertsey until I was four. Chertsey was granted its market charter by Henry I and was reconfirmed by Henry III in 1249, by Richard I in 1282 and again by Elizabeth I in 1599. Chertsey became a thriving market town due to the arable landscape producing fine market gardening and its proximity to London. I remember playing poo sticks with my dad here at the River Bourne. The George pub in Chertsey was thought to be the oldest in Surrey, dating back 400 years. It was rebuilt as it looked in the past, but it's now an office block. I'm at Chertsey Station and a very little known historical fact. In the 1960s and 1970s, Thames Television made a drama program called Public Eye, which starred Alfred Burke as private investigator Frank Marker. Now, Frank moved to several places in the series. He started off in Brighton, moved to Windsor, and then moved to offices in Chertsey. Uh, his office was in the station yard at Chertsey, and it's still here to this day, although today it's a car wash. I'm leaving Chertsey now as the locomotive Mayflower passes through following its tour of Surrey. <laughs> 